everyone. Um, flight home video. I've been meaning to do way more of these. Um, so I'm going to try and make it a bit more of a regular thing. Today we will tie good old easy to tie cicada. They work pretty simple to tie and um, yeah, not super pretty but they they really do work so can't go wrong with them really <coughs> we'll crack into those then so we will start with a Camazan B175 size 10 great um, really strong good hooks old Camazans pretty much most of my hook collection is Camazan B110 grubbers and B175 tread heavy traditional trout flies, uh, trout hooks. And yeah, I've got them in sizes 8 to 16, 18, and they're just absolutely brilliant. <coughs> um, old Sempi Fly, Nano Silk, awesome, strong, black pretty much the main thing I tie with most 90% of the time. Just get a dress the hook shank. I love how that's not staying in focus. Alright, back in focus. So, dress the hook shank. Mint. Um, dub. Like a peacock ice dub. Brilliant shit. I like to dub, dub wax my fingers before using it. Thread with that dub up. And go back to dressing the hook shank with that. Good amount. Make it fluffy underneath. Alright. Once you got that on there, make a couple of wraps. Pretty. Now that's all dressed. And some two more black fire foam. And you want to take a strip gap the gap of the hook shank roughly and just got a strip like that and get each corner on the back just take the corners off mint Get your big flick, quick braise over it. That's it, that's all it needs. Just a touch, just to uh, make the end all nice and curved. Cool. And get a touch of zapper gap. We just want to put some on the top. the tail just hanging off the back of the hook. Squish that on there. Pinch it. 
and get some nice tight couple of wraps. You got a nice little bit. Eight. And then come back one or two. And tie that down tight. And then even go forward one. And tighten that up too. You want to wrap that really tight. Build it down, make it tight. So then you end up with a nice little tight in piece in the middle. Good to go. And we want some you either use tan or green or olive. Some centipede small legs. Grab one of them. They come tied in the middle, generally. So just get one side. Get that off. Fold them in half. So you're using half of a half. Alright, and pinch in the middle. Tuck it under your thread. Bring it back to the middle. And you'll get something like that going on. Now hold those back ones and just not super tight, just a couple of wraps towards the very back. You can grab each one of these back legs and just pull them down to the side of your of your fly so they stick out stick out sideways. Alright. And then we snip the front. the same. So you end up with something like that. Cool, cool. We get some more of that brilliant peacock eye stub. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Now you gotta be careful not to be too tight with the wraps here because you'll pull those legs where you don't want them to be. Just give yourself a dab of noodle. Hold those rear legs back and just dub, dub in between the legs. Put a dub. Alright. So now you got that dubbed in the middle. Cool. Now you want to get some parapost wings or McFly foam, do it as well. Something like that for the wing. This comes in little strips like this. I tend to fold them in half, cut them in half. I only need half of one. There you go. Back like that. Back like that, sorry. And sometimes I oh, will. Grab it in the middle there, bring it up on the back of the thing, poke that down there, and then a couple of wraps to secure that. Alright, you got a bit of fluff out of the back. Cool. Then we want to get the head folder over. So you make a nice, nice little heat on the front like that. And then pinch that down. A couple of tight wraps. Secure everything in place. Even do a few. Get them in there. Cool. Now everything's pretty stable. Legs are pointing out sideways. As long as you go inside out, you're good. 
I always struggle with the legs. And then what you can also do, if you want to be fancy, come up to the middle and cross down fairly tight and round the eye of the hook and then back across the other way. And then you just end up with, uh, it really doesn't matter, the trout don't see the top of the fly so much, but it gives it a bit of a eye buggy heady look. If you want to do that, to be a bit fancier, that's cool. And then yeah, around there a couple more times, get a little bit more of that peacock eye stub. Oh. Hide all your thread. Give it a whip finish. You can either whip finish on the eye or just in the middle here. It won't matter. Depends how you did your cross on the top. If you want to do the cross, you don't have to. everything two three one, two, four all right trim that off at the bottom sometimes you have a way longer bit of foam than this yes cut that off the back cool cool get your wing You want it to hang just a bit further than the foam does off the back of the fly. Cool. And just brush that up. And there you have it. Oh, it's a bit messy. That's right, trap don't care. Cool, cool. Easy summer cicada pattern for you all. Nothing too fancy, nothing too hard. Happy fishing. Cheers.